I'm Dr. Cindy Lai. Uh, I work in Kaohsiung Medical University in south part of Taiwan. As for myself, I'm a plastic surgeon. And plastic surgery has a very interesting history of development. Uh, among all the division of surgical fields, plastic surgery is a relative later on catch up trend. And why is that? Because plastic surgery was born with different needs of collaboration with different kinds of uh, subspecialties. So our specialties in plastic surgery consist of like major burn care, chronic wound care, craniofacial, and breast reconstruction, and also lower limb reconstruction, and microsurgery too. The marketing of plastic surgery. Initially, when plastic surgery developed in Taiwan, we focused on reconstruction, and a lot of trauma patients need reconstruction, like finger amputation or craniofacial trauma, and including some uh, congenital anomalies of craniofacial. But later on, the needs of cosmetic surgeries increase uh, year by year. So now we have a lot of reconstruction patients and also cosmetic needs in our market. So the market is growing. My hospital is located in Kaohsiung, the second big city in Taiwan. Uh, we have a well-trained medical center uh, with a lot of collaboration and strong research bases. Our major strong uh, fields of division would be the microsurgical techniques. We have over 200 cases of uh, microsurgery for reconstruction every year, and it's growing. Also, we've done um, allotransplants transplants for the forearm in Taiwan. That would be the second case of uh, allotransplant transplant forearm in Taiwan. So we have a leading position of plastic surgery development uh, of whole Taiwan. As we all know, um, all the medical fields has a lot of advantage of technology development. So robotic arms, a lot of uh, transluminal, non minimal invasive surgicals, uh, surgical techniques develop and advance a lot. But plastic surgery, uh, we are more like old fashioned, skillful techniques. We don't rely on a lot of uh, technology or we rely on more men's skills so it's we need to strike a balance between uh, the men labor the surgeons uh, techniques and also the uh, advance in technology I think uh, in Taiwan uh, even among the whole world we have the uh, very outstanding cranial facial team and also microsurgical techniques, as well as cosmetic surgeries. So we have very uh, strong basis and aids on that. Uh, what we are trying to do and develop to broaden our markets uh, is trying to attract international patients to Taiwan. Taiwan is located uh, in an island, small island uh, near China. We have a lot of direct flights uh, to South Asia too. Our government uh, promotes uh, to get more international patients from South Asia. And because of relative uh, cheaper price and higher quality of medical service, we think we can combine this advantage with local attraction for tourists as a package to develop better international medical service for people. And also uh, in Asia, Everyone knows South Korea is famous for cosmetic surgeries, but actually uh, we have very tight connection in plastic surgeries too. And Taiwanese plastic surgeons, we have a similar strong base of research development and also surgical techniques. What we're different is a little bit different of um, training program and also culture based judgment of beauty would be a little bit different. So I think that provides another choice for all the other patients internationally. I think uh, for plastic surgery, the 3D printing technology and also different material, biomaterial for uh, reconstruction uh, are the trends for plastic surgery developments. However, we need to strike a balance among different technology advancement and also our surgeon's techniques 
and we need to strike a balance to do, to combine it to the next level of development in plastic surgery's future.